And President Mamadou Buhari don't challenge Nigerian scientists and researchers to make come up with a bonger solution to take care of COVID-19 as humanity and democracy are under threat for the pandemic matter. And the President Osama the challenge for nationwide broadcast to celebrate 2020 Democracy Day for Abuja on Friday. In C Express, they say and Nigerians say they will survive the pandemic like a similar crisis for the past and where the country don't come out from much stronger. Buhari Sama said the steps where the presidential task force take for COVID-19 say it don't start to show Ubonge results. Adam said Buhari being still announced saying administration don't put in place plenty Ubonge measures to take a control the negative effect of the pandemic for Nigerians and the nation economy. According to him, the impact of the pandemic, it don't disturb the nation economic system well. On the economic front, our objectives have remained to stabilize the macro economy, achieve agricultural and food security, ensure energy sufficiency in power and petroleum products, develop infrastructure, fight corruption, and improve governance. We have witnessed 11 quarters of consecutive GDP growth since existing recession. The GDP grew from 1.91% in 2018 to 2.27% in 2019, but declined to 1.87% in the first quarter of 2020 as a result of the decline in global economic activities due to COVID-19 pandemic. Every single economy in the world has suffered a decline. Ours has been relatively moderate. In order to stabilize the economy, the Monetary Authority took steps to build the external reserves, which resulted in improved liquidity in the foreign exchange market. The external reserves grew from 33.42 billion United States dollars on April 29, 2020 to about 36 billion United States dollars in May 2020, which is enough to finance seven months of import commitments. Agriculture remains the key to our economic diversification strategy. The Presidential Fertilizer Initiative Program continues to deliver significant quantities of affordable and high-quality fertilizers to our farmers. This initiative has also revived 31 blending plants and created a significant number of direct and indirect jobs across the value chain. Government is also rebuilding the cotton, textile, and garment sector via a CD and textile revival intervention fund that would considerably reduce foreign exchange spent on cotton and other textile imports.